All right, so now that we know a little bit about what Node is, uh, let's get it set up and running on our computers. Um, again, you know, the Node website is subject to change, so, you know, hopefully whenever you're watching this video, things don't look too different from the way they do now. But uh, installing Node, which actually used to be a little bit challenging, is really easy these days, um, especially if you're on a Mac or Windows computer. You can just go to their website and it'll sniff your operating system. And then, you know, for the Mac, you can click uh, and download a package file. For Windows, you can download an MSI or an EXE. Um, and then similarly, it's really easy for, uh, for Linux. They have, if you just do a search, it's like, uh, you know, install node on whatever operating system. They'll give you like this curl command and you run it and then it'll add that, you know, PPA for you or whatever. And then you can app get install. Um, so that's for like Ubuntu and Debian. And then for uh, um, a lot of the other distros, it's already in their package manager. So you might want to check there. Uh, if anybody's having trouble installing it, uh, let me know in the comments and I can do a custom video uh, for whatever operating system you're on. So just let me know what operating system and what version uh, and I can do a video for you. Uh, a couple of things worth pointing out. This is pretty common in the Linux world that uh, they'll maintain two versions at the same time. Um, so they'll maintain a long-term support version. And this is really geared towards enterprise customers or people making you know, serious production apps. So they're basically guaranteeing support for this for a long time. Um, whereas if you're just looking to mess around and get to know the language, I would probably recommend grabbing the current because it's got all the cool latest features in it, um, which we'll be messing around with a little bit later on. Uh, again, it's totally up to you. Um, you know, they, they do keep them neck and neck for security vulnerabilities and things like that. So you're, you're good there either way. Um, but yeah, this is really, I think, you know, a safer bet. But if you want to check out all the latest and greatest stuff, go with this one. Um, okay, so one way or another, uh, hopefully you have Node installed by now. Uh, and the way that we're going to check to see if it's installed and working is we're going to go to our terminal. Uh, for those that haven't done that before, on a Mac, um, you can just go to your Finder. And from Finder, you can go to Go Utilities, and at the bottom, you should see Terminal. Uh, with Windows, you can just click on the Start bar and then type in CMD and open up a command prompt. Uh, and with Linux, um, you know there there should be if you just have like an Ubuntu installation, there should be you know a, a shortcut to the terminal. Otherwise, you should probably know how to open it by now. Uh, again, if you have any problems, just let me know in the comments, and I can uh, make a video to address it. So once we have a terminal open, it should look something like this. Uh, probably not exactly like this, it might be different colors or say different text or whatever, but all we're looking for is we want to type node dash dash version and we're just looking to get back some type of answer. So if you see, you know, version, you know, whatever it is that you installed, these again might be very different by the time you watch this video, um, then you're good either way. If you see unrecognized command or, you know, node command not found, uh, that means it's not installed properly. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll help you get it set up. So yeah, hopefully we have that. The last thing I wanted to mention is when you install Node, it also installs Node's package manager, NPM. Uh, there are a few different package managers for Node. NPM is definitely the largest and most popular one. This is their website, npmjs.com. Uh, so for those that have limited programming experience, basically this is like the place that everybody posts their cool open source projects that you can use. So we're going to be using NPM a lot. I actually have on Nodecast.io a whole series devoted to how to use the NPM. Um, but basically, like if you need, you know, a web framework or some stats tools or, you, you know, any of the stuff that you might want to use that's other people's code, um, you'll go ahead and grab from here. So that'll be all installed. Again, you can check for that the same way with NPM this time, dash dash version. And as long as you get a number in there, you're good to go. Uh, otherwise, go back to the drawing board and try to install Node correctly. Um, cool. So I hope that helps. Uh, we've got Node installed. We've got NPM installed. So from here, we can go ahead and start writing some code.